Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. Welcome to the upcoming 28 day read. Ooh, 11 stood out and 12. Uh, doesn't uh, surprise me because we're reading for Libra, my darlings. Welcome. Welcome to all of the Libras. Welcome to, for some of you, you have a Leo. <laughs> like That's like right on your tail or you're dealing with a Leo. Because I was going to say, welcome to the Leos too. So for some of you, you could be a Leo watching for a Libra. Um, Sagittarius and Aquarius also very in the field for a Libra energy. But welcome everybody. Welcome to those interested in a, in a, in a reading. Yes, you're interested in a reading, my lovey's book down in the description description box below for personal information for a personal reading you can definitely book in the description box below but welcome to the libras and to everybody interested apparently libras the thing <laughs> Everyone's interested in Libra, and we're interested in you too, my lovies. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Keeping in mind, we're reading collective energies. Um, so for some of you, for those who are interested, genuinely, it's coming up in your field. So those are, that are interested, uh, something about Hardy, something about Hardly, something about Hardy's, uh, the restaurant. But those that are interested in booking a private reading, you can definitely do so in the description box. Uh, following the Calendly link is probably the easiest way. If not, I will be your shrink, my loveys. I'll be your spiritual shrink, right? Not. Um, but if not, um, re re Reiki, Rihanna, uh, Rianne for some. Um, but um, keeping in mind that we are reading collective energy, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Emily for some. Um, you are and forever will be the masters of your experiences of what you will or what you will not into this creation. And Emilio for others. Uh, an Italian, Mariana. Mariana or Mariano. Um, and something about Marimba Ani. Um, you are the master of your experience, my lovies. Uh, we are just channeling energies for you. We're going to go ahead and get started by honoring and thanking the spiritual council. I, tr I trust for some of you, trusting your ancestors, yes. Um, I thank your trusted ancestors. I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also honor and thank my grandpapa, Abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. You can honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected to the all as you are in this experience. You do have the energy of death in your field. I'm seeing Scorpio energy. I am seeing death. So for some of you, there could be um, death lingering maybe for some of you uh the passing of somebody or someone is kind of more on that side than on this side because the death energy is very present almost like it's coming to collect or someone is going to pass for some uh that's in your field for some but um or you'll be learning of a death and then there will be some type of judicial procedure because i'm getting strong justice through that as well for some um but um take what resonates and leave what doesn't something about a cancer I am seeing like uh, the chariot. So for some of you, uh, there could be a long distance move. For some of you, there could be a death of a vehicle. You may need to get a new vehicle. There's a chapter that's over with a vehicle. For some, I am getting that as well. 3.11 on the clock. March 11th by March. A uh, Pisces could be significant for some. But here we go, my lovies. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's thank the ancestors. And for some of you, let's thank Auntie Annie's. For some of you, Auntie Annie's pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> let's thank the auntie Annie pretzel why not my lovies let's do it <laughs> for some of you you're gonna have an auntie Annie's pretzel my lovey I haven't had one of those in years I can't even remember the last time maybe like 2019 I was in Rhode Island Rhode Island could be significant the northeast could be significant for some auntie Annie's pretzels or you'll be having a pretzel. I am seeing their pretzels. A mess. A mess. Something about messier. Something about uh, their pizza pretzels. Or something about pizza. For some of you, you want pizza or you're going to eat pizza. I'm seeing a pepperoni pizza. I'm seeing a pepperoni pizza pretzel. Now I'm getting like, for some of you, you could be having like something like that. For some of you, you got a lot of frozen foods and a lot of it has to do with pizza and, and cheese. I mean, <laughs> what's going on over there, my lovies? And get on your knees. Somebody wants to get on their knees. I'm getting like getting like proposal energy. Someone wants to get on their knees, my lovies. Jesus, this, these proposals have been present in the readings and in the general reads, my lovies. Dang, my lovies, get to it. Let's do it. Is it lyre? You know the, the small instrument that kind of looks like a harp? 
that instrument came in for you for some um it's big in greek mythology for some of you greek greek mythology greco-roman uh something about greco-roman culture for some for some of you, you can like the romans or greece or the greece culture i also i also was getting the lira um the the money the the money the money the money take the house so the hermione britain could be significant for some but um I am getting or a British accent for some of you this was in the preliminary but it's coming back in for some of you a fake British accent for some of you somebody reaching out to you from a rented account for some of you don't get catfished my lovies uh catfishing energy was in the present or this could be you doing this to somebody i'm just the messenger but catfishing energy was in the preliminary in the present it's it's also happening right now for some of you someone's being catfished someone could be reaching out to you like pretending to be i don't know it could be uh it's a hidden enemy for some for sure i'm getting catfishing energy but take that how it resonates my lovey somebody could be pretending to be like a love interest it's very like someone's coming in very flirty they could be like they could be pretending they're from Britain. Um, 611, I'm just the messenger. Somebody could be pretending they're they're from Britain. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You could be communicating with someone online, my lovies, and they ain't who they say they are. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear. You could have been communicating with this person, something about Curtis. You could have been communicating... Um, Oh, yep. Yeah. You could have been communicating with this person since um, Aquarius season. Since I mean, we are in Aquarius season, right? 651, 652. 651, 6 and 7, 1967 could be significant for some. 652. 1967, 707. 77 technically if you take away the zeros 711 stood out as well um bon. we'll explore it in a second my lovies if you are what you say there there are a lot of lies in a situation for 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 sure for sean for some s-e i'm getting like s-e-a-n for some and then s-h-a-w-n for others something about shawarma if you are what you say you are a superstar have no fear for some of you you could be in the limelight or someone around you is in the limelight and uh someone's trying to catfish you they've been stalking you like you you could have like some type of platform for some or you could be well known or it's like you have some type of notoriety or celebrity um but um you're getting catfished my lovies or someone's trying to catfish you or someone did catfish you. For some of you, you could be turned off by someone who catfished you. You're going to find out. The way it's feeling, it's like you're going to find out. Someone needed... Spirits, saying, the spirits are saying it's for inner healing for some... Like, it's like, you know, it happens. It happens, my lovies. But the catfishing season is upon us. For some of you, it's been in the general readings. It's come up a few times in the general readings. All types of catfishing, fishing schemes, uh, clever ways to get like into your head or get you to transfer money or waste your time for some. Your your time is very precious, especially if you're in your purpose. You know, I mean, all of us, all of our times are precious. You line. You have to do a U-turn though. But L-I-N-E. Like a four letter L word for some. But um, it's like playing like charades. <laughs> Everything is coming in for a reason. Um, like you can play online games with someone. I'm getting like online dating. Someone you've never met in person. It's something about Priscilla. 9-11 and it's an emergency. Boom. I'm just a messenger, my lovies. Everything is coming in for a reason and sometimes it's for a season. Someone got catfished. It's like someone pretended to be someone that they are not. And they feel put on the spot and they're even uh, quite defensive. For some of you, someone could have even proposed. Spirit's giving us how um, Ernest, the name Ernest for some. Um, something about an Ernest deposit though. Here we go with this shit. Um, Spirit's giving us how I... Um, Again, it's been years of research, um, if not decades at this point. Um, but um, I, I, uh, after I left Florida, everything is coming in for a reason. Florida could be significant for some. I went to Rhode Island. 
Flor uh, Rhode Island could be a Floridian could be significant Saint Nick. Something could have something could have started in Christmas or something about Christmas or someone gave something someone gave someone something for Christmas. But um, I'm getting like giving like money for Christmas, um, like giving a significant amount of money for Christmas, but holding that against somebody, it's like something's coming in but um so i um after i left florida i went and i stayed at my sister's place one of my, my blood sisters uh for a few weeks uh in rhode island until i figured out like where i was gonna go and uh that's when i went out to fort fort worth where i met somebody who was doing like he had a big online account and he was doing like online things like he wasn't really doing he was just sharing content online so he had like a, a an instagram account and he was sharing content online and we met and i was starting to do like i started sharing content on instagram at that time i had i since then i've closed that account but um i had that account where i was like sharing content things about like like consciousness development stuff like that and him and i like we 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 met he messaged me and he's like yeah come out here 11 11 on the clock come out here you know um i inherited a house and um you can stay and i have an extra room and then when i got there i noticed like the house was trashed um it was a mess i've never seen such a, a like it almost looked like an abandoned home though the condition of it and that was like a gift that was left to this person um since then i think they've done some upgrades um but um but basically kind of catfished me in a way where he wanted me to go there and then it, it instead of like being like a business thing he was trying to turn it into like a romantic thing but i wasn't really like interested like that um there's an issue for some like someone could have misconstrued something and then tried to turn something around and then after it's funny I, I even like i tried to reach back out to him especially after i went to india um i tried to reach back out to him but he was really bitter and he like he didn't want to talk to me someone needs a babysitter for some he didn't want to talk to me he was really really bitter and it kind of saddened me because i'm like dang like you know i thought like no matter what we were friends just because i didn't want to fuck you um doesn't mean anything like he was super sexually frustrated too and i'm like i don't want to have sex with this man i i'm barely attracted to him i would tap kiss him and it would feel like like i was tap kissing my brother i don't know um maybe like for some of you you're involved in something like that this is what's coming in i'm just the messenger it's like and someone's trying to catfish you like someone's psychotic my lovies and melodramatic i'm just the messenger anyways here we go to mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Malonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Malonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Malonado. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To Shango. To Shango. To Shango. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Papa Lekpa. To Papa Lekpa. To Papa Lekpa. To Elegua, to Elegua, to Elegua, to Archangel Michael, to Archangel Michael, to Archangel Michael, to Archangel Raphael, to Archangel Raphael, to Archangel Raphael. A Gemini could be significant for some, or something is going to be happening in June that's going to be significant. Um, to Archangel Gabriel, to Archangel Gabriel, to Archangel Gabriel. Uh, and Scorpio season for some uh, late October into early November. Tarkinjo Uriel, Tarkinjo Uriel, Tarkinjo Uriel. To Maat, to Maat, to Maat. To Heru, to Heru, to Heru. To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, all being, all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your divine mercy, to your unconditional love and your divine mercy, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? In love, in truth, and courage, in love, in truth, and wisdom, in love, in truth, and honor. In love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and honor. In love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and honor. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? 
How's it going? What's popping? What's cracking? We're reading for my Libras. Reading for my Libras. Reading for my Libras and anyone that's interested in a Libra. 1502. I saw it at 1502. Eight energy. Legal procedures. Uh, medical procedures. Uh, eight energy. Things that um, have to do with all types of legalities. Uh, procedural things. Contracts. Soul contracts. Uh, for some of you little boo-boos or big boo-boos. Um, let's see my lovies. Um, we're going to do this because... These want to speak with you. I thought we were going to work with a 32 for you, but um, we'll see. We'll see towards the end. Spirit saying, Spirit saying, wait for the surprise. Wait for the surprise, my love. He's 1543. Wait for the surprise. Six and seven energy. 67 is going to be significant for some. 1967, but 13 energy, death. An energy of ending of transformation and then of ending of pretending and then uh 13 energy that's four there are, there are delays when it comes to um mincing words in a situation clever wording i am feeling a manipulation for some there was a heavy manipulation gaslighting tactics for some in a in a situation um someone was trying to, and i am seeing arrests and serving time and something about here we go tanya for some something about timothy for some Arrest and serving time. I am seeing it in my mind's eye. So we'll do. We'll work with these, and then, um, and then from there we'll work with uh, nothing but the F ish. Nothing but the F ish, my lovies. Something about Ishmael for some spiritual upgrades, my lovies. You're getting spiritual upgrades, my lovies. We have of an infant. Okay. Okay. I am getting, for some of you, um, someone could be having a baby. I am getting women and infants or uh, some type of like, I'm getting Mary Birch. I'm getting all of the places where babies are delivered. Hospitals. For some of you, someone's having a baby in a hospital. Call your sister friend specializing in home births, but I do hospital births too. Someone wants to apologize or apologize for some. There could be someone who is pregnant who will be apologizing. For some of you, you could be apologizing to a pregnant person. Or there's some type of an apology in the field. But for some, I don't know. I don't trust it. For some, somebody can apologize because of a birth of a situation. Like something something about Alberta. Um, something about Alpharetta. Georgia could be significant for some. Someone's trying to apologize, but I don't know, my lovies. For some of you at the hospital, they could try to apologize to you over a situation as well. You can run into some type of issue in a hospital for some. That's why it's important to have representation. I'm getting legal representation for some. For some of you, you do need a representative in a situation when it comes to some type of procedure. You got Neptune energy. This has been very present in the preliminaries. You got Neptune energy. Oh, shitsy pitsy. Oh, chewy pooey. You got uh, Neptune energy. Something about Nessa. Something about Nafi. You got Neptune energy for some. I love Neptune, my lovies. King of the Seas. So you got an infant. For some of you, I am getting infant mortality rate. For some of you, there's a psychopath that did a death spell on a child that's coming in. For some of you, there's a uh, uh, a death spell. Someone did some type of death spell on a baby, on an infant, on an unborn. I'm getting that song by Tupac. I'm writing you a letter. 80, 82. 1982 could be significant for some, but I saw 1832 on the clock. Uh, 18, the 30, uh, 32 somebody uh someone was 32 or someone is 32 someone did a uh a, a death spell on a child 81 uh, 81532 on that truck 320 815320 isn't that funny my lovies 815320 move those numbers around 1832 we've got your back we've got your usage Verizon has my back my lovies Someone has your back, my lovies. Neptune has your back in a situation where someone's back is covered when it comes to an innocent life, especially a child. Someone did a death spell on a child. Someone that can't have children did a death spell on a child. That's why this person gets weird, like, shit happening in their womb. Someone, this was a while ago. Somebody could have done this when they were 32. They're not 32 anymore. They will always be a cheater. For some of you, someone will always be a cheater. They will always be a cheater. It could be a cheater, like a cheater, like something about a pumpkin eater too. Something about pumpkin seeds. I'm seeing someone likes pumpkin seeds. I'm seeing the pumpkin seeds, dried pumpkin seeds. Someone will always be a cheater and a fucking evil jerk. 
how do you do that to a child? I don't care if you you you're crazy and you think someone's your enemy. Something about Elisa on the road. Something about Star Anise on the road. Someone's gonna be on the road for some an ambulance. There there goes an ambulance, a non emergency ambulance. It's not in some type of response mode. Everything is coming in for a reason. I'm writing you a letter. This is to my unborn child. Gonna let you know I love you. <sighs> I tell you. I tell you, my lovies. I tell you. I tell you. Uh, my lovies, fear is the only thing stopping you. Fear is the only thing stopping you. I'm writing you a letter. This is for some of you. If you want to have a baby, or you want to get pregnant, or you want to have like a birth of a situation, because for some of you, someone I am getting like for some, there was a a death spell that did affect an unborn child. So somebody could have aborted, or they had some type of a weird, funky. Even if you really uh, didn't notice, someone had some type of weird, funky abortion. For others, um, but don't let that stop you if you do want to have a child because that's the fear of it too the, the 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 magic or the spell could just be fear fear mongering 20 21 11 and 21 12 mirroring energy um uh it's a broken mirror for some for some of you i did get that vision yesterday for some of you a mirror broke the spell is broken a mirror is broken the reflection is not working um because someone was not even looking at it accurately anyway but the test was for you to pass the, the, the something about a pest something about pester um something about lester um to pass a a, a a breaking point within yourself um so for some of you fear is the only thing stopping you when it comes to giving birth to maybe not a pregnancy maybe a project maybe for some of you the energy needs to be redirected if you're focusing too much like people for example that come to me and they're like you know who's doing black magic on me and blah 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 spirit doesn't really need us i've said this before and i'll say it a lot of times apparently um spirit doesn't need us to focus on necessarily if spirit gives us downloads that we need 22 11 was on the clock and 22 12 um if spirit gives us downloads that we need in order to figure out like a situation spirit doesn't want us for warring <laughs> something about philandering something about a philanthropist spirit doesn't want us warring with anybody per se necessarily um spirit wants us more to be focused on our inner war our inner fight and if spirit wants you to create something beautiful and redirect your energy of being overly obsessed with somebody who may have done you harm in some way don't my lovies they're gonna harm themselves anyway the war is within themselves if you participate in that war, you're just showing your own war that you're participating in. If you have to have a discussion with someone or an argument with someone, if spirit brings you to argue, spirit brought it there. But for you to go out of your way, I told you, for some of you, you had a Leo in your field. You got you got a couple, because also, I'm also getting a Sagittarius. For some of you, a fire sign, very present. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. I told you, but I'm feeling that Leo strong. It's like Leo energy. For some of you, Leo could be important. For some of you, you like birth charts. For some of you, Leo could be important in your chart. You got literature. You got some type of liter literature that you have to... Uh, look at the today's reading for some because I did see like a lot of reading and stuff like that guilty someone's guilty I told you my lovies there's a guilty verdict spiritually or emotionally and uh, someone who pretends not to look at you pretending not to look pretending not to be aware of or pretending not to care in a situation I'm writing you a letter someone's having a system meltdown someone's eyes could be twitching a lot you got to forget. For some of you, this is what it feels like. You have to forget. Like, you have to move forward. For some of you, you have to forget a bet. I don't know what you bet on, but you have to forget the bet. You have to forget the bet and move forward with your life for some. Move forward with your wife for others. Move forward uh, also for your brothers too. Writing. The lease is up. For some of you, the lease is up and it's on the side. The lease is up. There's a lease that's up. The lease is over for some. Someone needs to move now. The lease is up. And uh, they like you better when you're silent. Uh, so they can control the narrative and then make you look like a jerk and you're not. And then all of a sudden they're the hero. <laughs> <laughs>
They're the hero with the disorder <laughs> or the disorder that they cause pretending to be a hero when they're not. We got a gangster. Oh, shit. See, hit. See, oh, chewy, pooey. For some of you, someone pretends to be a hero, but they're actually a gangster. Ooh, someone's going to be attending a funeral. What did we say? I felt the death. I felt the death. Someone's going to be attending a funeral. There's a federal case and violation of privacy. For some of you, someone will be attending a funeral, violation of privacy, and a federal case will be brought up against somebody for a gangster or someone behaving like a gangster. Take that how it resonates. Uh, something about genes, geneticists or a gene pool or something about genes. I'm seeing pants though. This person has moved on and has healed from this. For some of you, you have moved on and healed from something or someone you were dealing with has moved on from a situation and healed from it. Uh, there, there's a cleanup crew or there's going to be a cleanup crew. For some of you, I am seeing like um, industrial, like I'm getting floor waxing for some. Uh, I am also getting like a, like a carpet cleaner. For some of you, you need to get some type of, you could be renewing a contract on a carpet cleaning or someone needs to clean a carpet. A carpet cleaner is coming in for some. I'm seeing a carpet cleaner in my mind's eye. Um, they thought you would be easy, so they approached you. For some of you, I told you, someone tried to catfish you or do some stupid shit. Uh, they thought they were going to harm a stupid bitch. That's how it's coming in. Uh, they thought you would be easy, so they approached you and ran away when they saw that you're actually not effing easy my lovies you're not an easy target uh, for some of you someone that you like to listen to music or someone that likes to listen to music for some of you you are a muse to somebody for some of you this could be a gym buddy i am getting for some of you you'd be surprised how many stalkers go to the gym and scout people you know you'd be surprised how many people are at the gym that are doing that live a life of sin that's how we were saying i am getting a gemini for some a gemini could be significant for some Messy, messy, messies. Gang stalkers. Oh, yeah, and your preliminary. In the preliminary, that was present. And I was wondering if it, it didn't come out in the general reading, but it is coming up for you, so it's for you. For some of you people gang stalking you, trying to fucking kidnap people. The plans were to rob you and they wonder if you know. And it's like, yeah. High priest, high priestess energy, I think you know. <sighs> Anyways, you got a system meltdown for some. There's a system meltdown. When it comes to the crooked company that you keep for some, watching it with the company that you keep over the 28 days. For some of you, I'm getting peepers, creepers. There's creepy energy in the field for some, for sure. <laughs> for real, for real. It needs to heal. We got literature for some, some type of literature. Someone could be reading a magazine. For some of you, you'll be reading quite a bit over the next 28 days. For some of you, you could be reading something that a, a fire sign wrote or there's a fire sign author. I am getting a fire sign author. Aries, uh, a cancer wants to come into uh, and a dancer wants to come into. But uh, cancer, nope. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some. Uh, that Those are the water signs. But Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo for some some a fire sign who wrote something or you're going to be reading about something that happened to a fire sign there's going to be a lot of uh, reading and it has to do with a fire sign what do we say about a dancer <laughs> for some of you a dancer for some of you you'll be reading for some of you you could be reading a book you know what i'm getting um there was a book I read actually when I was a child. This could also be a child reading a book that maybe the child shouldn't be reading. But it's funny, um, I came across this book when I was in middle school, I think. And it was The Coldest Winter Ever. And it was pretty much about sexual escapades in the hood. For some of you, uh, an exotic dancer could be reading something. For some of you, there's an exotic dancer who uh, supports a fire sign. For some of you, you have a love of a lifetime and there's a system meltdown. For some of you, you got multiple offers when it comes to a love of a lifetime, uh, but you have to watch the company that you keep. For some of you, you could you and your significant other could uh, really be doing some cleanup. For some of you, there's an exotic dancer who's an envious ex. It didn't convince me. Uh, we have an envious uh, an envious Annie. Envious Janie. Something about Janice. Uh, something about Janet. Something about Janet Jackson. Someone can like Janet Jackson. There's an envious uh, ex who's an exotic dancer who's been reading a lot. We got 
Boaz energy. For some of you, you have the love of a lifetime who's really a love of a lifetime. Oh, shit. Wait for your Boaz, the person that is right for you. A love of a lifetime, Boaz energy. Oh, shootsy pootsy. Oh, chewy pooey. I got this one. This is awesome, my lovies. They're being pleasant to win you over, but they will also continue to be this way authentically through the connection. For some of you, there's an envious ex that has, uh, I can see, I don't know why they would, who plays with hex work. But this person is envious of the fact that you met someone genuine and authentic while they're fucking cruel and mean and a liar. It's like, my love, what the hell? <laughs> what the what the hell celsius <laughs> i'm getting the celsius drinks though for some of you the celsius drinks because they're envious because you had an unhealthy relationship with this person for some of you unhealthy relationship with their ex they cannot be friends after the breakup this person may even propose to be your friend and this there's this is a lie they're they're an envious Ex, who's an exotic dancer fire sign who's been reading a lot about a situation this person could be trying to study to like become a fuck buddy that's how it's coming in this person's like trying to study to like they're insincere in the soul it's like if you you met someone authentic and true and and hubby or wifey material or you're with somebody a love of a lifetime who's genuine and sincere and this person who lives in their fear and wants to control the situation by manipulation that, it makes it really difficult, my lovies. I'm just a messenger. Unhealthy relationship with their ex. They cannot be friends after the breakup. This person, let's just be friends. For me, this energy came in in the preliminary tweet. I thought it was going to come in in the general. And it didn't. It came in for you. Uh, something about a general could be significant for some. Um, or someone in the military. Um, but um, for me, if you have children with a person with an ex... That's why for me, it's like, I have to be very cautious if I'm going to date somebody that has children. First and foremost, at the stage where I'm at, I'm dating for marriage. I'm not dating just to like, I don't know what most people think nowadays is dating for me. It's for marriage. I have to be very, very conscious of the fact that someone has children with someone else. Because am I worthy of being a second mom to those children. That's how I see it. Spiritually, that's my duty. It would take a community. It takes a village. And I have to look out for not only those children that uh, that are his children, but also for his ex-wife or his ex-partner. That's how I look at it. Random Lucy's, Lucy, Lucy relationships. I don't really see a point. Why do you need to keep this person around? Especially if they're fucking toxic. I would leave it up to the person to decide. But if if this if this is even the conversation we have to have, for me is like it shows you a lot where the fuck you're at. Cause you're get you're trying to sacrifice the love of a lifetime and, and bringing this fucking an envious ex who plays with fucking hex work. I don't know. Or all types of like like competitive words, envious words, trying to pretend that they're gonna be a friend. It's like, uh uh honey, I don't I don't think so. Oh, this was also in the preliminary. For some of you, the youth in the family can see the issues, but they're being manipulated. For some of you, the youth in the family can see the issues, but they're being manipulated. Check today's reading for some once it uploads. Check today's reading because leaving the youth out of a situation, for some of you, you may have children with this person or or someone. Take what resonates, you know, if whoever this applies to in your life, this could be you or someone around you, but someone has children with a messy ex. I'm just the messenger. And the youth see the problems, but they're being manipulated. This person is too preoccupied with their ex. For some of you, this person has children. I'm getting someone, for some take what resonates and leave what doesn't. For some, you have an ex who has children, but she's too fucking worried about what you're doing or what their, her ex is doing, or this is you in the center of my love. I'm just the reader. But someone's pri priorities are jacked up. And the children know. But they're trying to manipulate. Again, someone's just a liar all around. That's why for me, it's like this person, given the appropriate situation, 
because they love to play with fucking hex work they would also curse their own children if you get it you get it this person has a lot of spiritual growing to do too preoccupied with their ex they're too preoccupied with with their ex i'm just the messenger and for some of you, spiritual upgrades is a Boaz energy. It's a love of a lifetime. It's a system meltdown. For some of you, you're changing the company that you keep. You're really having some type of shift in your life. Someone even has an OnlyFans for some. I'm getting that. Someone has an OnlyFans account. For some, there's a really good person in your field and they are being pleasant to win you over 3529. 3529. 35, that's eight energy. 29, that's 11 energy. That's 88. The year 1988 could be significant for some, but that's like soulmate energy, swole energy. Like something that's really deep in your soul that makes sense for your life. And they are being pleasant, not because they're fucking desperate for some, because for some of you, I am getting like, you may think someone's being like desperate or someone may think, I'm getting it as you, my lovies, but take it how it resonates. You know, wherever the shoe fits, wear it. If it doesn't fit, don't wear it. Someone's like being super kind, super genuine. And you may think like they're they're thirsty. This is a, this is a fucked up reality that some of us live in, my lovies. I totally get it. The programming may be, be stupid. You know what Spirit was giving us? You know, like... Um, all of these these shows that program you into liking being hunted by fucking jerks. Like, they watch you from a distance and make eye contact with you and waste your time and, and, and act like they're too good for you. And meanwhile, like, you have someone kind coming in, genuine. They call when they say they're going to call. They show up when they say they're going to show up. They show time. They, they are, they're showing you that they actually are ready for a commitment and you are too, my lovies. Don't look at this person. For some of you, I'm getting like looking at somebody like you may want to use them as a fuck buddy. That's what's coming in. And this person's not fuck buddy material. They're Boaz. Male, female, take it how it resonates. A love of a lifetime, but you need to change your mind. System meltdown about the company that you keep, especially these fake ass uh, exes for some. For some of you, there are many. For some of you, it's Mary. Something about Mary. Something about Mary Ann. You're getting multiple offers for some, but I think I think you have a really strong offer coming in. For some of you, this is a very singles read. Um, but um, you have a very strong offer coming in with uh, someone that makes sense, my lovies. You also have someone that, for for some, it's like they're not... They're, you have someone wanting to hold on to all their exes because someone just has a lot of, she's played with too much hex work. Someone's a psychopath. It's like, again, they don't see it. Like, it's like someone's put curse work on all their fucking exes. Somebody has a weird way of speaking. Like, someone has a weird way of speaking. It's not necessarily a lisp. But they have like a weird way of speaking. There's a, there's a funky sound in the mouth. 3811 was on the clock. Somebody like... And they have children too with exes and there are problems. They turn... Someone's just drama filled. It's like I'm getting someone that turns their children against their baby's fathers. Mom or dad, take it how it resonates. It is coming in as a female who's just fucking messy, my lovies. And they always have some type of victim mentality happening. While also stalking all their fucking exes. And they're envious. I don't know. I don't think this is worth it, my lovies. I think you need to move on to your beautiful love offers of true. For some of you, you have a lot of envious exes coming back to offer you fake love. Because for some of you, you have the real deal. I'm just being honest. I'm just being real. You're getting spiritual upgrades for some. Your system is changing. And you're just seeing things differently. I'm getting that song by the Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 39, uh, 39 59. For some of you, 39, the 59, but 39, 11 was actually on the clock. Um, I'm getting How the Grinch Stole, stole Christmas when they, uh, my life is changing. I'm rearranging. Christmas is very important for some. There's something very important about Christmas for some. 
For some of you, porn is very important for some as well. Uh, my life is changing. I'm rearranging. Someone's addicted. I'm addicted. 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 Like DJ Lumpy. Someone's really addicted. Boy, I think about it every night and day. I'm addicted. Wanna jump inside your love. I wouldn't want to have it any other way. But it's toxic. I'm addicted and I just can't get enough. I'm addicted. 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 I'm addicted. Addicted. Someone's addicted. It's creepy. <laughs> but they think it's cute. <laughs> it's like... A private investor or an angel fund. Boaz energy. Oh shit, see it, see for some of you. Uh, you should definitely check out today's reading. I picked up on this energy of a of a very supportive spouse. Maybe for some of you, you have a spouse who, instead of having a fucking jerk who throws things in your face about, uh, I don't know, giving something about a, a, a gift that they gave you, a gift of money. Someone gave you a gift of money. Instead of having a jerk like that, that throws that in your face, you can actually go with true love that invests in your projects, whatever it is. I don't know, my lovies. I'm just a messenger here. Uh, that This is a house, not a home. Something is just a house, not a home. Celsius. Uh, metric system could be significant for some. Someone could be from another country for some. A high budget daycare. For some of you, a lot of money spent on daycare. Check today's reading. You'll see. Uh, daycare energy was present as well. 41, 11 was on the clock. Unhealthy relationship with their ex. They cannot be friends after the breakup. Boy, I think about it every night and day. You got relocation support. Uh, too preoccupied with their ex for some someone this again it's like everything they do it's about an ex wherever they move is about an ex uh whoever it's like someone is just obsessed they don't they don't think about themselves or their children someone wakes up to the thought of like What's my ex doing? This is the type of person that would like log into social media and check are they talking to somebody else? Are they this? Are they that? They're not even together anymore. It's like my lovies. And this person deletes evidence. I'm just the messenger, my lovies. This does not feel fun, sound fun. This person can easily like pay for a stalker and to stalk their ex's new partner. This this is messy. Someone's just really hurt. Their inner child is crying. That's why their real children are also fucking crying. And they just lie. An acquaintance for some, for some of you, this is not, again, because I, I was feeling a few different energies. For some of you, this is your friend. The youth and the family can see the issues but are being manipulated. For some of you, you can look out for the youth if you want to. From an acquaintance, the youth and the family can see the issues but they are being manipulated. And someone's deleting the evidence. I'm addicted. Mm -mm. Uh, someone is biased. For some of you, there's an acquaintance who's biased in a situation. Uh, but being pleasant to win you over, they will also continue to be this way authentic, authentically throughout the connection. For some of you, someone has a lisp or something in their mouth. It's like my tongue gets stuck. You're going to take on a challenge when it comes to multiple offers. For some of you, you could be... Um, I'm getting like taking on a challenge for some, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, of like working on multiple projects or like kind of challenging yourself over the next 28 days or maybe even a little longer, maybe the next three months for some, because we get some, we got something also about uh, cancer energy. So for some of you, maybe into the summertime or like Gemini season into cancer season, you'll be really challenging yourself. Multiple offers will come to you that are going to be your soul's calling, a love of a lifetime. It's going to make you feel good. Um, I'm getting that song. Is there any boys around that can that know how to make a girl that can mend a broken heart for some that can that know how to make a something about gnarly, uh, um, know how to, something about iCarly girl feel make a feel good. All I want to know is there at uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't even really say it for some reason. Do I have to tell a nigga how to touch me? Do I have to tell a nigga how to call me? Want to call me? Do I have to something 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 something? Do do I have to tell up I'm lonely? Do I have to feel wrong when it ain't strong? Keep my mouth shut. Oh, girl, no. <laughs> okay. You got a love note. <laughs> you don't got to tell them my lovies. You got a love note from an envious ex. For some of you, you have a love note from an envious ex. 
who's this is this is a lot <laughs> but anyway moving on uh a tease for some somebody is a tease a love of a lifetime for some of you a love of a lifetime and is uh, a tease a law a, a lawless individual something about dc logistics logistics for some of you law for some washington dc for some of you logistical for some of you logistical training you got a lottery winner. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. For some of you, uh, you won a love of a lifetime. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, for others, um, I was getting uh, in the preliminary something about a 1.3 million something or other. I saw a 1.3 million check in my mind's eye. I didn't put it in the general read, so it is for you, my lovies. Because um, I'm like, 1.3 million, my lovies, what is this? I saw a $1.3 million check in my mind's eye. 1.3 four seven blah 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 like but it's like uh 1.3 million dollars pretty much uh lottery winner for some an exotic dancer i'm addicted 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 like dj lumpy who's sexy and i know it you're getting spiritual upgrades for some someone's sexy and i know it and you're getting spiritual upgrades for some of you your significant other likes to strip for you or they're going to or you're gonna get a little strip dance from your significant other over the next 28 days we got an infant and it's gonna end up in an infant oh a fire sign we have a an infant and a fire sign for some of you the next if you were to get if you were to get someone pregnant uh, relatively soon um the next fire sign that would be feasible would be sagittarius we said something about Sagittarius energy, didn't we? Anyways, boy, I think about it every night and day. Okay, <laughs> okay. And they're going to be pleasant to win you over, but they will also continue. They insist, my lovies, this is a lot. <laughs> they insist. Being pleasant to win you over, they will also continue to be this way authentically throughout the connection. I love it. I fucking love it, my lovies. Go have fun with that. This is sexy. Something sexy is in the field. Ooh, it makes my back tingle. Ooh. <laughs> Something. Okay. It makes my back tingle. It makes me want to be a Pringle. For some of you, something about Pringles. For some of you, you could really like Pringles. For some of you, you want someone to bend you. For some of you, uh, we're all adults here, my lovies. And uh, for some of you, you're going to have a love of a lifetime who's spicy white. <laughs> could have to do with a Pisces for some of you or a fire sign for others or you know you're gonna have a fire sign though it did it did come in Didi it did come in um the name Didi the name Deidre the name Deandre for some the name Deandra or Deandre whose hair is gray a lot of gray hair came in today my lovies uh we got literature <laughs> They never had, oh, literature. They never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. Literature, and they never had any type of sexual activity or rapport. You're reading about something. What did we say about reading about sex? Or reading about, for some of you, you'll be reading something about sex. For some of you, I don't trust this crazy ex. This is the type of person that, for some of you, you have someone in your field. If this isn't an ex, this is someone, an ex-friend for some. Someone can really make up some shit. Like, they could write something and have you read some bullshit. I don't know. You're going to find out, though, that someone's a liar and a and a. That's always coming in. But somebody did not have sex with anybody. With Richard for some. Some did not Richard. They never had sex with, uh, they never had any type of sexual activity or report. Something was not sexual at all. It wasn't. And what do we say about denying red flags for some? Or was it in the general read? Anyways, denying red flags because they are too prideful to admit that they chose wrong. Somebody is denying red flags because they are too prideful to admit that they chose wrong. For some of you, somebody could have denied their love of their lifetime to go with some type of like messy person. And um, they are too prideful to admit that they chose wrong. They're not happy. They're trying to be strong. They're just wrong. We got an associate's degree or AA for some of you, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. Someone could be drinking something about Thomas. Somebody could be something about Thomas Jones. Um, someone can be drinking a lot to put up with the pain that they chose wrong because they're too prideful to admit that they chose wrong. Um, and they've, they're reading something or they're going to find something out that someone was just a liar and something about a hit for hire. The company you keep. Someone's drinking because of the company that they chose to keep and the one that they chose to defeat. I'm just the messenger. They're addicted, addicted, addicted. They chose a monster and they blamed the innocent. And now they're having a system meltdown. Someone's not very happy. 
for some. 4931. Someone feels kind of like they're stuck. They feel like they're stuck. A prisoner of war. They feel like they're stuck. They feel like they're a prisoner of the own war, of their own war. This is how it's coming in of their own war, too. I don't know. Someone with a messy person, my lovey. Someone really, they feel real stuck. They don't feel happy. They feel like, for some, I can take what resonates and leave what doesn't. They feel like they're trapped with a mess. They're trapped with a monster. We got watchmen. They're constantly being watched. They're constantly being stalked cock block something a uh, family business for some someone could have done something for money uh government assistance i told you something about the government is in your field for some uh east the east coast i told you florida could be significant for some i was also getting georgia someone with a big ego uh who chose wrong uh and they will always be a cheater <laughs> and a woman beater for some of you of uh, evangelina the other parent does more than their fair share. The other parent does more than their fair share. Escapism. Someone's just trying to escape though. The other parent, it feels like the other parent in a situation does more than their fair share. But it's because they hate their life and they would rather just be... They love their children though. Their children is like... And I don't even know if it's that big. Spirit saying, yeah, but it's really not about the love for the children. It's more to distract themselves from hating their spouse. But they also love their house and they want to keep... They, there's a there's a, a perk to their life that they don't want to give up. 5111. Um, for some of you, uh, someone's going to find out. I told you. What did we say? Someone making some shit up. They couldn't find dirt, so they started making things up. They could not find dirt on somebody, and so they started, for some of you, someone even wrote some bullshit that is like, where'd you get this from? Oh, this is what I, um, this person wrote something to me. This is, uh, someone's psychotic. Uh, just really psychotic, psychotic. And they don't even see it. They think this is normal. They think this is normal. Uh, they couldn't find anything, and so they started making shit up about a warehouse somebody could have started like writing some bullshit that didn't even happen i don't know my lovies for some of you they like you but their spouse doesn't approve of your friendship for some of you there are legal matters involved in a situation for some of you a brave soul is involved in a situation for some of you graduation of a brave soul ocular motor adjustments for some and for some of you, they lied and they they said they had sex with someone they did not have sex with. Again, if spirit was not fucking clear, they lied and said they... Oh, excuse me. The other way around. For some of you, they lied and said they did not have sex with someone they actually had sex with for some. And they cannot be trusted. If it wasn't fucking clear, for some of you, you're in, a, you're in, in someone or this could be you, my lovies, in a judicial procedure. I would have been walked away from this bullshit. Bye. A few months later, bye, my lovies. We ain't fucking doing this for the rest of our fucking life. Nowadays, you can't even get a few months out of me. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. We doing what? For how long? No. I'm good. No. 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 Go back to your fucking hood. For some of you, someone's from the hood. I feel crazy in the field. I'm saying it for a reason. This person is unhinged and they need help. And you can't fucking help them, my lovies. You actually aggravate this. You facilitate this. I'm just a messenger. Something about felicity. This person is unhinged and needs to get support. I feel the craziness. Judicial. They can't be fucking trusted. Someone that would make shit up because they couldn't find anything that tells you how psychotic they are. I don't know why people normalize this type of behavior, my lovies. Something about a menu. And f somebody went fussy. Went back to an ex to repeat the same cycle. Someone chose wrong. They could have had a new opportunity with someone else, but they chose to go back to an ex to repeat the same fucking cycle. And it looks like the cycle is fucking, is like, like Michael Myers type of cycle. A big fan. <laughs> And returning merchandise. They returned something. They were a big fan of something. They loved it. And they returned it. They didn't earn it. Spirit saying they didn't earn it. They didn't earn it. They had to return it. They returned the merchandise. They went back to a hell hole it looks like. To be quite frank. It's like both parties have a mental disease. Or some type of disorder. It's no self love. No self respect neglect and child neglect on top of it all 
This doesn't look fun. It don't look fun at all. Anyways, my lovies, and something about RuPaul. Uh, what is this, my lovies? This one wants to speak with you. Eight of Pentacles. They didn't do the work. They kept stuck. They didn't do the work. They did the. They put. They put labor in somewhere where they didn't need to put labor in and left something else hanging. That it's. That's. It is what it is. They looked at it as low hanging fruit. This is what. And a brute. This is what's coming in. It's low hanging fruit and a brute. Mind you, it was the love of a lifetime and their Boaz. I'm just the messenger. It was not low hanging fruit. You actually went with the low hanging fruit. And now someone can't even sleep. Nine of Swords energy. They were in some type of fucking dream state. Now they're tormented. This King of Swords, who's an airhead. No offense. Now they have to hold back. And they're suffering. Someone feels like they have to hold back and they're suffering. Nobody told them to hold back. They told them put the fucking work in where you're supposed to. Don't go run back to your crazy ass ex. And their health is affected. Someone's really not having a fun time. And they're ha they're hating. They're hating on you, fuckery. Here we got this bullshit. And they're aging horribly. This is like that's how it's coming in. It's like you were to see this person, they don't look the same. When you met them, like it's like you met something like beautiful. 55, 54, 55, 55, 55, 56. By the age 54, 55, this person is going to be if it's like they're lucky they don't they don't they're lucky if they don't die that's how it's coming in i'm just a messenger they're gonna try to switch their they're they're gonna try to switch the subject with you when they contact you they don't even want to talk about this bullshit they're embarrassed they're with a fucking psycho they're with a fucking psycho my lovies third party fatal attraction and they're being a people pleaser to the psychopath leave me and i'll fucking kill you Bye. For me, get the fucking restraining order and bye. You're a fucking psychopath. I can't help you, my lovey. In certain contexts, you cannot help somebody. They look at you as an extension of their pain. Do you understand that, my lovey? Someone's insane. I'm saying it for a reason. Something about Shana or Shauna. I am saying it for a reason. This is the type of person that would fucking stab you to death. Because they are so crazy inside. They don't give a fuck about you. I'm just a messenger, my love. He's 5711. This is really serious for some. It is not even about someone else, my lovies. This person tries to make it. Oh, you want to leave me for someone else? No. You're not okay to be in a relationship. It's not about leaving you for someone else. You're fucking crazy, my love. No offense. Get help. You don't need to be with anybody. You don't even love yourself. No one can love you. Because you don't love you. This is like an intervention. This is fucking crazy. This person is doing black magic. I feel this This person is crazy. And the grass is greener, my lovies. What are you fucking waiting for? I am just a messenger, my lovies. I don't understand these types of things, my lovies. I've been there when I was younger. My first relationship, that was like my serious adult relationship, six years, on and off. Bye. Nah, nah, we're good, my lovies. Go find your peace over there. He settled for someone who fucking puts up with his lies. I'm sure she never knows that he fucking cheated on her. I'm sure. Go. Go with people that live lies. I'm so okay with that. Happy, happy life, happy wife, happy husband. Go with your bullshit. Go. I have no problems with that. My relationships since then, shorter and shorter and shorter and less frequent to the point where I haven't been in a relationship in years and I have, I feel peace in my life. It's like, I let go of a bunch of bullshit. Third party fatal attraction. You got yourself your, your twin, the, your third eye. It's like your mind's trying to wake up. Your twin flame crap waiting, whatever that means, a serious something or other uh this third party who holds on to fucking exes and you are being a fucking people pleaser to the psychopath this person is out of their mind and all of the karma that is falling on them because of this fuck shit that they like to do to people i told you they do spell work on their exes they hold on to their exes in whatever way they can this person is a nut job 
Something about Iran. Something about Iraq. This person is a nut job. I am saying it for a reason. For some of you, someone like same-sex relationships or there could be a same-sex bullshit happening here. I don't know. It sounds like abuse. Gaslighting, manipulation. Something about tactical training for some. Someone's in tactical training, my lovies. I don't know. And immature as F. This person's not ready for anything, my lovies. This is like, I'm not playing, my lovies. This is not okay. This is dangerous for somebody, my lovies. I'm just a messenger. This is very dangerous. Someone is not okay. They're very immature. They're very psychologically unstable. They tell a lot of lies. This person also wants to pretend like they're a good man or a good woman. They breadcrumb the shit out of you. For some you breadcrumb someone good because of this bullshitter. An escort who's fucking selling it. Come on. With you just for fucking money. The way it feels is somebody keeps connections because it's like, how can I get support? Someone has a lot of community support. How can I get support? Let me get more support. Someone has like anxious attachments. And they're hard to understand, supposedly. They're disrespectful to the fucking divine. And gossip, everybody fucking knows about this shit. That they just like fucking kinky sex. They sell fucking sex. They're arrogant as fuck. And only because somebody else is leaving or because you're leaving, they're living a fucking double life. And they deny accountability for all the bullshit they've done. They look for always somebody else to fucking blame. I'm just a messenger, my lovey. This is insane. This is a person that easily could go and try to supposedly be a doctor because something about a doctor came in yesterday. A gynecologist could be significant or something like a, a, a doctor, a high-ranking doctor of some sort. Easily live a double life. Easily live a double life. Easily. This person's a sleaze ball. You are too different. And this is just a mirror trigger. This, this mirror is not an accurate reflection of you, my lovies. What are you going to do, my lovies? For some, it's really serious. This is exhausting energy. Someone lives in this. It's a constant fight, constant argue. It's like exhausting even fucking talking about it. Caught up in some fuck shit. Just because this person lets you fucking do whatever you want to do, that's not fucking love. That's what you think. And then you always fight anyway. So do you really do whatever you want to do? You're fucking miserable. Miserable. And I told you that they fucking hate. I told you they hate. They stalk people that you're interested in and they fucking hate. It's like you hate yourself. You don't have beef outside of yourself. Try to get fucking people to fight. This, this energy, something about Angie. They're an attention seeker. Try to get people to fight so that they can have some type of an attention. Look, because it's about me. Everything is about this fucking person. Just looking for a fucking place to stay. Holding on to fucking access. Tr triggered by the Trevor. Triggered by Trevor. And doing spell work against all types of fucking people. Anyways, my lovies. Uh, doing uh, some type of twin flame bullshit. I don't know. An escort who's fucking paying for it. I don't know, my lovies. This is stupid. And I told you, they got like the fuck out of you. You didn't see that. I didn't say that. That's not really what I said. Nah, 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 my love. Nah, nah. For me, no. No. No, we're not putting up with this bullshit. I'm a fucking adult here and I love myself. No. You can go and make up your shit somewhere else. Bye, honey. Bye. And it's not about arguing with the person. It's actually fucking leaving. Because guess what spirit trying to get you? The grass is fucking greener, my lovies. Go. You don't got to put up with someone that's a fucking hoe, a liar, a stalker, harasser, insane. Lives in fucking shame and wants to put that shame on you and everybody else you fucking come in contact with that can fucking awaken you. They don't want you to be somebody's friend because they can probably fucking give you good advice. Somebody has lice. Fucking children with all types of fucking issues. Pay attention to the fucking children. The fuck? Stop fucking looking for attention. This is just fucking crazy. Looking for an honorable mention. Looking for drama with people that don't even fucking look your way. Go find your fucking peace. You're just triggered. Spell work to also win you. This person's playing with all types of fucking spell work. Black magic. Uh, fucking spell work against people. Spell work to win you too. Pretending like they're fucking charming. It's fucking alarming. Something's alarming, my lovies. This is very heated. They're caught up in some fuck shit. And then they act fucking single. <laughs> Spirit insists. They act single. 
They don't even fucking really claim you. This is messy. It's easier to call this an open relationship for sure. And gossip. Everybody fucking knows that this is just a fucking whole ass shit. No fucking standards. No self-respect. I don't give a fuck what you call it. Polyamorous, polygamous, pol police. <laughs> this is what it is. Acting out of childhood wounds. Someone is not an adult yet. They still have a lot of healing to do. And they're procrastinating on that. This person should not be in a fucking relationship, my loveys. I'm just the messenger. They're going to get blocked eventually because you have to. They're a hater. And they're going to talk shit about you just because you're fucking leaving. Let them talk shit. This person's psycho. I will let them talk all the shit. Talk more shit. I'm never going to fucking hear it. I Spirit's going to block the shit out of it. They're going to try to call you late night, stalk you late night. This is obsessed. <laughs> like, they call you the best. They love to stroke your ego. Say the bullshit. They don't even fucking mean it. They don't even know what the best is. They're gaslighting you and they're talking to people on the phone. They're gaslighting you. They don't even know what the best is. And they project out bullshit. And they're just a scorned person. I'm just a messenger, Malavis. This does not feel good at all. It's bullshit. You're my soulmate. You're this, you're that. No. 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 And again, no. It's like, just no. They're coming in as a messy, messy hoe. I don't like to use those words in my normal life. That's what the spirits are saying. Messy, messy hoe. Liar. A tampon... Uh, a tampon someone someone uses tampons a tan a tantrum thrower something about chatham something about chase uh, something about chase something about chase bank a fucking stalker harasser a liar a bully it's like and then trying to pretend like there's like some type of marriage material like no my lovey nah it's like nah this energy is exhausting and on top of that, because that, because all of that is their third, is their black magic. On top of that, they play with the fucking devil. They try to control the evil. They try to control your life. They try to control who's your, in your destiny. They want control over you and they don't even have over control over themselves. So they're not Roger. Someone could be an officer. I'm getting Roger. Roger that. They don't even have a control over themselves and they want to try to control others with dark manipulation. The karma this person is going to live through is fucking incredible. I would get out of the way. And they are a drama king and a drama queen. And you are being neglectful. And they are neglecting you, but you're also being neglectful of something that makes more sense for you. I'm just a messenger. They want this one out for some reason. For some of you, you're going to marry someone else and this person is going to stay being obsessed with you. You are leaving. You are totally leaving. This person wants you to give them money for sex at some point. You are marrying someone else and they hate you for it. They will try to contact you to be some type of lover to you. I suggest you don't fall for the okie doke. This person, what did we say? What did we say? I felt the only fans. This person is selling themselves somehow, making porn, or they're about to, because they're materialistic as fuck. All they give a fuck about is money. They will be having sex with people for work, for workplace affairs. And issues with uh, a baby. For some of you, that energy has been present, um, but maybe it's for you because it's, it's been part of the preliminary. But for some of you, um, someone is, has constantly faked paternity. For some of you, you sleep with a lot of people or someone around you sleeps with a lot of people. So this is actually a few people in this fucking crazy ass energy. Can you believe that shit? Fucking up your self-esteem. And something about Christine. Something about Vanessa, something about Veronica. 
something about Melissa, something about Rosie or Rosanna or Roxanne. And it's like talking to the fucking wall. So this is why it's so frustrating. Is they talking to the wall with these people? Page of Swords, because all they do is watch, spy, stalk. It's like talking to the wall. They don't listen. They're in a Page of Swords. They think that they can overanalyze and they're understanding something and they're intelligent, but they're better off just studying and just um, finding their peace. <laughs> for real, for real. They need time to heal stalking watching online watching on social media making fake accounts driving themselves even crazier than they off already are there needs to be a change they need to move for some of you you need to move away from these people take what resonates leave what doesn't you need to move you need to move it wants to come out and someone is thinking too much they're thinking way too much they travel in their mind they are obsessed it's not like Jesus. Secretly, they paid, and now they're in bad health. Secretly, they paid uh, to have, uh, secretly, they paid to, to, again, to make someone sick or end someone's life. But uh, there's some secret support here coming in for some. For some of you, this type of energy will have you in all types of struggle. They were working really hard. For some of you, somebody went to see a santero to try to, or a curandero to try to get some type of work done to heal themselves. But it's like, you're evil. It's like, you're, you're trying to get work done to heal yourself. Heal, hear yourself. You need to hear yourself. You're trying to, oh, one, 11, 17, trying to get work done to heal themselves while trying to destroy somebody else. A wealthy man who is really, really concerned and worried over some sudden wealth and stealing. Anyways, my lovies, I'm done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Have to give money and take some type of journey and a choice and leaving people in despair. Leaving people outside. There's a man who's going to, ooh, a female too, a main female who was left outside, an official person who's a thief. For some, somebody paid someone to have someone kidnapped, but uh, there was some type of travel and someone's going to go into some type of prison or there was a failure when it comes to a situation. For some of you, somebody does kidnap somebody because somebody's such a fucking psycho. She paid somebody to get someone kidnapped for some. I'm just a messenger. This was coming in. To try to take somebody out on a date or wine and dine or Prince Charm somebody. But they were disappointed in the reaction or they were disappointed or ashamed or felt guilty. This King of Pentacles or a Taurus who uh, felt some type of union or worked together to cause a tower. But uh, something had to end. And they were disappointed or felt ashamed. They tried to rush in to communicate and do something to this Queen of Swords who's going to be angry about the results. When it comes to this Queen of Pentacles, this crooked Queen of Cups who didn't want to end something but is too weak. Uh, she's been invested in this for a long time, over invested in her, uh, Hermit and something about Hermania. Uh, trying to defeat uh, this queen of wands in the crooked, all these fucking psychopathic people, the chariot offering eight of swords uh, some type of money to this king of wands who's a Pisces uh, to have some type of victory but none of it worked none of it worked and it's still not working so they don't want to give up, but this Taurus wants to give up. This King of Pentacles wants to give up. They're having a huge shift. They want to give up on the stupid plot with these five to six people. They feel put on the spot. The devil. Because they're all tormented. And this Queen of Swords is really, really tormented really tormented she's lost her marbles 
this person wants to harm somebody and has a Capricorn could be significant. Uh, trying to offer to this king of wands marriage uh, to turn him into a king of pentacles. But there's conflict in the energetic realm because he doesn't, he wants to be with someone else, but he's also got someone else pregnant. He loves somebody else and wants to get someone pregnant. And this king of swords who feels left out wants to communicate to this king of wands to try to see if he can temper something because he's having some type of torment when it comes to this psychopath that he's partnering with who's a friend to him but he's she's also a friend to this other female who also got betrayed for some of you if someone tried to sacrifice you someone else has become the sacrifice that they love because they don't love anybody i'm just a messenger Anyways, my lovies, um, that was a lot. I'm going to go and uh, detox from that. I hope you find whatever you need, my lovies. I hope somebody finds a fucking peace, my lovies. The past is now behind you. <laughs> you got to let it go. The past is now rely uh, relying. Um, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Go on your merry little way, my lovies. Psycho psychopathic plays my lovies psychopath energy was present in the preliminary for anyone who wants to look up what a psychopath is because for some of you you're dealing with a female who's a fucking psychopath a new path is opening up for her but let's see if she takes it or if she lets the devil take her anyways my lovies stay well your sister friend loves you and adores you loves you and adores you your spirit friends love you and adore you Love you and adore you. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. Your Siri friends. For some of you, Siri's always listening. Your spirit friends. Some of y'all, Siria and your sister friend. And your spirit friends. In love always, in love always, in love always, and forever, homies.